Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to resolve if Windows 11 is not detecting headphones when they're plugged in. So if for some reason you are plugging them into the jack or USB port on your computer and your headphones are not being detected, you don't hear any sound coming out of them for whatever reason. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys a hopefully a couple quick workarounds for this. And we're going to go ahead and jump straight into it. So first thing I recommend doing would be to open up the search menu, type in advanced system, best match or come back with view advanced system settings. Go ahead and open that up. Select the hardware tab. And now you want to select where it says device installation settings. Choose whether Windows download manufacturer apps and custom icons available for your device. So go ahead and select that button right there. And you want to set it to yes. If it's not, and then select Save Changes. Once you're done with that, you go ahead and close out of here. Open up the Start Menu Search. Type in Device Manager. Best match, you'll come back with Device Manager. Go ahead and open that up. You want to expand the Sound, Video, and Game Controller section. Right-click on your audio device list under here and select Properties. You want to select the Driver tab. And if there's a Rollback Driver option, you may want to select that. And then if not, you can always select Update Driver, and then select Browse My Computer for Drivers. Select Let Me Pick from a List of Available Drivers on My Computer, and then go ahead and select the driver specific for your device. If you only have a generic one in here, that's the one I guess you have to go with. And then select Next. It says Update Driver Warning. Go ahead and select Yes. Select Close. Close out of here. It says, do you want to restart your computer now? And we do need to restart in order for the changes to take effect. So go ahead and select yes. And hopefully it would have resolved the problem. Something else you also want to consider looking into here would be to go and click on the Bluetooth icon or or the Wi-Fi. If you don't see it, you might have to click in the drop up arrow here and select the Bluetooth devices button. And then select where it says show Bluetooth devices. Click on the plus where it says add device. And then walk through the on-screen instructions here if you have to go ahead and actually add a wireless Bluetooth device if that is your connection type in here. So let's just say it's Bluetooth. Go ahead and select that. Make sure it's turned on and discoverable. So again, some of you guys can take a look at. Um, something else here too, if you want to change your default sound output, open up the search menu. You want to type in settings, best match, come back with settings. Go ahead and open that up. Select the three horizontal lines up at the top to open up the navigation field. And you want to select system on the left side. Now you want to go down to sound. Go ahead and left click on that. Where it says choose where to play sound, click inside the drop down here. You want to select your headphones from this list if you have multiple devices hooked up. And you just will go ahead and select that. And you want to make sure it was allowed. So if it says don't allow, you want to go ahead and change that to allow. So click on the allow button. And you also want to test it as well. Make sure the volume is turned up on that as well. Again, you'd be going underneath the headphone settings. So go back to this previous page. There would be an option for headphones. So if you are still having a problem, you can also try troubleshooting it. So open up the search menu. Type in troubleshoot. Go ahead and select troubleshoot settings. And now you want to go ahead and scroll down to troubleshoot. Go ahead and left click on that. Select other troubleshooters. So on the right side on the top where it says most frequent, there's something that says playing audio. Go ahead and select the run button. Go ahead and follow along with any of the on-screen prompts here, and then select Next. Once it's done, close out of here. Again, make sure your headset is turned on and it's working properly, so make sure it's plugged in and properly registered. Again, something else you can do here too, go on to the manufacturer's website of your headset and see if there are any drivers available for them. So most of them have automated tools you can just download, so go ahead and check that out. Another thing you try here, if you open up the start menu, type in update, best match to say check for updates, go ahead and open that up, and select check for updates.
So this may take a while to update. I don't want to bore you guys through this whole process here. But again, just go ahead and check for Windows updates as well. Something to take a look at. But pretty straightforward process. Do hope I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.